Guys, exam is approx 45 days away and you are preparing for UGC NET English. Have you ever wondered about this thing that there is a particular unit drama? When it talks about drama, is it only the British history drama, British uh, literature drama or the drama in any kind of literature? Like my question is, if you are preparing for UGC NET English literature and there is properly a unit has been mentioned called drama, which means you will have 10 questions from drama. Have you ever wondered about those questions? What kind of questions will be? Are they going to talk about mystery play, miracle play, morality play, interludes, artistic drama, Oxbridge dramas? Are they talking about one act play, a three act play? Are the concept of theater of cruelty, macabre play? What kind of plays they're going to talk about? And moreover, is it only concern with British literature only like you have prepared British drama. So you think you're prepared with British drama, you know, Adrian Kennedy one it play concept you're prepared. Is it like how many of you know actually what is Neo Aristotelian drama? If you don't know it, my friend, this is the homework for you. Yes, when they have mentioned drama, it is actually drama, the art, the style. And we know that English literature is a kind of a kind of field which is not restricted to Britain only or India only. It is now a world part, the part of the world literature. Yes, today we're going to talk about the most important form of theatres called epic theatre. In German, it's also known as Episches Theatre. We call it epic theatre, which was coined by the term got coined by Erwin Pescata, but one of the main propounder of the theory was Bertolt Brecht. The German writer, the one who has written one of the greatest work known as Mother Courage, then Good Women of Sejuan and a lot of other works. Do you know the German dramas are also known as the fate theater drama, fate drama, German dramas. There are various other kinds of dramas you must read. For example, the third theater concept in Indian drama. Like when I teach these things in the classes, we see that most of the students are not aware about the concept of Rangmanch. Rangbhumi Nautanki. You know, Nukkar Natak, when you were kids, you must have seen, or maybe you ask your parents that, uh, you know, the Nautanki, the Rangmanch, the uh, Mandali, these kind of concepts were very much prevalent in ancient India and even in the India of 1980s and 90s. But the question is, what was the concept of third theater? What was the concept of hope theaters? The concept of dramas which are actually performed to convey things. The concept of epic theater. Let's talk about epic theater, which is the main topic today. And for other kind of dramas, I would invite your own definitions right in the comments. You write in the comments. I'll read those comments and I'll correct you if it's needed. My friends in epic theater. First thing that you have to understand is how do we perceive a drama? How do we become the part of a drama? You are watching a performance. You're watching a theater play. So let's make it easy in my style. Otherwise it will be looking uh, like a mugged up language because you read epic theater. The basic concept is alienation. Alienation means the drama and the audience. They should not be connected to each other. There should be a detachment. Now I make it easy in my style, the style that, that I use in online or offline classes. So why do we watch movies? Movies are the advanced form of drama, the narration, the story in front of you. Why do we watch movies to know the story, to curiosity? Why do we watch trailers and the trailers drag us to the theaters? We watch a trailer. We love the trailer. We start waiting for the movie release. We go to the theaters. My question is, why do we watch it? Second question. Do you have your favorite heroes, heroines? We see that there are many stars, superstars. They have a huge fan following. If you criticize those stars in front of their fans, they become angry and a debate. Sometimes a senseless debate takes place. When I did a review of some Shera movie, I'm a teacher. I'm not supposed to go for a professional review, but I'm also an audience. So I went to watch some Shera and I went for a review. That view, uh, that review reached to around 80,000 people. And I saw different kind of comments. I could also uh, figure out the age groups. 
द फैंस ऑफ द हीरो मे बी रणवीर कपूर और मे बी संजय दत्त दे अटैक्ड मी फॉर हेटिंग देम नन ऑफ देम वेंट फॉर द रीजन बिहाइंड माई रिव्यूज दिस इज द पॉइंट If you appreciate Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, or someone like that, and someone comes and criticizes, we fight back. Why do we fight back? Because we get emotionally involved. We are emotionally involved with the stories. The characters who played the stories are now our favorite character. So when we love Shah Rukh Khan, he has done amazing characters. We know he is great. We find a connection. Three Idiots became a blockbuster successful movie because it actually raised the issue of the students and every student who had pain inside who had suffocated uh, dreams inside he got connected to that movie but my question is when your reviews when your judgment is actually based on emotions how can we rely upon those emotions This is the concept by Erwin Pescarter and Bertolt Brecht. He believed in this thing that the theater performances get audience emotionally involved and when the audience are emotionally involved we actually forget the performances we actually forget the minute observations in a theatrical performance and we focus on the emotions. For example, if a scene is being filmed and a hero is attacking the enemy soldiers and the background music is a patriotic song so we will have our blood boiling we will also be like feeling patriotic yes let's do this for the nation there you will forget it that it's just a pictureization they are presenting a scene in front of you which has been shot for multiple times and hero may not have the, those emotions what you are having you know why emotional movies patriotic movies they work because they know they don't have to work a lot what they do just make a patriotic movie people will watch one of the biggest disaster prithira chauhan is the result of it the director himself said that akshay kumar was not willing to work hard he didn't even grow the original mustache he was not ready why when you are playing the role of a legendary king prithira chauhan why are you not serious because he knew this thing that there is an emotion for prithira chauhan so even if i just dress up like him and do some basic acting people would watch it this is called baseless uh, you know judgment so the german writers the german theater experts the directors and all they were against it and they believed in this thing that we are in new need of a new theater where the theaters are totally not connected to audience now before i talk about the theater and audience and alienation concept i ask you a question in my way this is vineet pandey style if you love the narration subscribe the channel we drive the cars and at the signals red light we find some kids they come and ask for pennies 1 rupee 2 rupee food water they beg right we give them 1 rupee 2 rupee because we have some sympathies for the kids sometimes we also want them to take the money because we feel that we will be blessed from the god we are kind okay now suppose you are at the signal red light is there a kid looking bad dirty dilapidated weak he comes to you you draw your window glass down and you give him 5 rupee coin the moment the boy takes the coin the one who was looking weak and asking you uh, the kind of things he starts speaking to you in english he says thank you so much ma'am i come from a convent school we are doing a research on beggars on roads i am playing the role of a beggar and i will see you on the next signal i will again come to you and ask for the money if you feel that i have done really well in my acting then only give me the coin and he gives your coin back to you and you are shocked now the next signal you are waiting for that performer next signal he comes to you and he says i'm hungry i'm tired i'm we give me 2 rupees 5 rupees please are you getting emotional this time no you're not getting emotional this time why because you know it is merely a performance it's just a performance so what did you do you blocked your emotions you blocked your emotions now you will look at the dressing of the boy the facial expressions gestures emotions appeal language you know uh, behavior and if you feel that he is justifying that acting 
then only you will give the coin not under the emotions you will give the coin as a reward this is the concept of epic theater because your first judgment was based on your emotions second judgment was not emotionally charged you were not charged up emotionally that is the concept of epic theater alienation the audience must be detached from the main theatrical performance now there are some sub points multiple other points the books where it has been applied and the writers that i'll be pointing you in next video stay connected stay tuned subscribe and those who want to learn like this join the online classes or offline classes call 8587035827 because what i have summed up in 11 to 12 minutes we deliver a lecture of 2 hours on this thing you will be knowing everything you will be better than others god bless you see you all